As Lennox, King Duncan, and his son, Malcolm and Donalbane, wait for the arrival of Macbeth and Banquo, Duncan asks Malcolm if the Thane of Cawdor has already been executed. Malcolm informs his father that the execution has already taken place. Then, Macbeth, Banquo, Ross, and Angus enter the scene. Delighted to see Macbeth, Duncan openly expresses his gratitude. In response to this, Macbeth takes on a politically humble tone and says, Your Highness's part is to receive our duties, and our duties are to your throne and state children and servants, which do but what they should, by doing everything safe toward your love and honor. Basically, Macbeth is saying that he only did what he should be doing, as a child should respect his father. It is at this point when Duncan officially announces that Macbeth will now be named the Thane of Cawdor, a grand promotion. Duncan also says to Banquo that he deserves no less accolades than Macbeth does, and that Banquo will stay true in his heart. Interestingly, Although Duncan claims that Banquo should be appreciated just as much as Macbeth, Banquo is given no promotion from Duncan. But there is one more promotion that Duncan announces, a promotion that ends up becoming a most alarming turn of events for Macbeth. Duncan promotes his son Malcolm to become the Prince of Cumberland and says that the stars shall shine on all deservers, referring to the fact that all those who are worthy of their good deeds will not go unnoticed. Duncan then goes on to invite himself over to Macbeth's home for the night, and in response to this, Macbeth continues to act humbly by saying, I'll be myself the harbinger, and make joyful the hearing of my wife with your approach. But even though Macbeth's demeanor might be presented to Duncan as a loyal servant, Macbeth's inner thoughts show him to be a man riddled with guilty ambition. Poisoned by the prophecy spoken by the witches in Act 1, Scene 3, Macbeth is fixated on the idea of becoming king. And with Malcolm already proclaimed by Duncan to become the Prince of Cumberland now, Macbeth realizes that Malcolm would be an obstacle in his pursuit of becoming king. Macbeth mutters to himself, The Prince of Cumberland, this is a step on which I must fall down, or else overleap, for in my way it lies. Stars, hide your fires, let not light see my black and deep desires. The scene closes with a short event that sheds light on Banquo's true nature. Even while Macbeth was not part of the conversation between Duncan and Banquo, Banquo vouches for Macbeth's valiant characteristics, showing us that Banquo is loyal to Macbeth. Whether or not Macbeth is loyal to Banquo in return, or if he is even loyal to the king that he himself has already envisioned killing, we will soon find out.